guys, this is Vivi here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to show you an app that uses AI technology to make your own handwriting Chinese font, which has 7,000 characters. It will only cost you 5 minutes. And my boyfriend, Eddie, also trained our own AI model to achieve similar ideas. Let's talk about that. Last week, I showed what's a traditional way to make a Chinese handwriting font, and the heaviest work is the writing. The website I used will deal with the rest of the technical work. Uh, the experience is very interesting. It feels very artisanal and vintage, but it's just so exhausting. And the 2500 characters font is not enough for daily use. So the app I'm using today is called Shouqi Zaozi. Uh, Shou qi means your handwriting, Zao zi means make a font. So some people told me that Huawei cell phone has a building function just like this. Cool! So this app can help you to get rid of those boring writing parts. Users will only need to write 100 characters, and the AI could learn your handwriting style and fill in up to uh, almost 7,000 characters for you. This amount is the lowest Chinese national font standard, and it is the amount that is enough for daily use. The result is very interesting. The first time, I only wrote 100 characters. So if you use your phone for the writing part, you could probably do it in 5 minutes. It used 15 minutes to generate the rest and create the font. So from the result, this font has both my writings and the system-generated characters. In the paragraph, I could see the differences very easily. It's not that hard for me to identify mine. Well, some characters are too simple to tell. Eddie actually can't tell which are mine. Well, since I just wrote that little, most of the characters in the paragraphs are the system-generated ones, so they do look uniform. It's not that bad, just not like mine. It seems like it's transforming from another font to my writing style. We don't know how exactly their AI works, but I do have a very strong personal writing style. Some of my structures and strokes are not uh, in the right way, and it's very different from the standard, so um, it's hard to find a very similar font. And the 100 characters is far not enough for AI to comprehend, uh, especially in just 15 minutes. Anyway, it still feels very amazing that the system tried and did generate almost 7,000 characters in just such short amount of time. So the second time, I decided to write more to see if the result could be better. Also, the system said if you write more, the font generated will be more similar to your writing style. Well, it has more samples. And it told me to try to get to 1,000 characters because normally uh, AI will need at least 1,000 samples to make some progress, although it is still far from enough. Usually tens of thousands of samples would be ideal. Anyway, my target is 1,000, and this time I found out that I could skip some characters. I don't need to write every single one in the order, so I manually picked some characters that I think are different. Either they have different parts, different strokes, or different structures. I just try to cover every different shape to let the AI have some references for everything. I think the more variety, the better. I mean, if there is a similar sample, at least the model knows what it should get closer to. Eventually, I could only get to a little more than 700 characters. I wrote down a little bit, but I just couldn't find any characters that I thought were worth writing. By the way, the first font the app generated for you is free, then it will start charging. I couldn't find the pricing list. My second font cost $1, and after sale, just 50 cents. Very cheap, <laughs> and it took one and a half hour to generate my second font. And yes, the result does look better, but I think it's mainly because I adjusted the thickness of my pen. Visually, it looks more pleasant, and simply because I wrote much more <laughs> that I could see more of my own writings in the paragraph. But I could tell it's getting there. Some similar characters that I wrote a lot, um, the model seems to imitate better. But I could still identify mine from the AI-generated font very easily. 
After all, I think this app is more like an entertainment. It shows what the AI could possibly do. It's an interesting concept. Unless you have a very standard writing style, I don't think this app could learn your strong personal style. So here comes our AI model. The model any train for me will generate all characters in the font based on my handwriting style and it won't include my writings inside. So putting the paragraph, it looks very uniform. And the last batch we got is already pretty near to my writings. I think I could approve that it is how it looks when I'm writing very carelessly. Well, about the technical part, how to train the AI model, let's work on Eddie to explain. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hello everybody, this is DigiSweezer. So this is our AI model based on Vivi's handwriting. This model is produced by using the open source project called zi 2 zi created by Konashi TYC. It's a very powerful tool. It can learn the handwriting style of hundreds of font samples and transfer the style to like even 30,000 characters, generate a full set of a new Chinese or Korean or Japanese font. Like face generator, they both rely on JN system, so it can transfer style and mix the style of two or more different fonts. Here is an example of the font mixing. You can see that in between, I transfer three different style fonts smoothly. So each interpolated frame in between could be a unique new font. So as we can see here, this is an official example of the project. They use a print train model who actually learned 27 different fonts and transfer in between them so we can have nearly as many as possible combination of the fonts. So the basic use of this project requires a little programming knowledge. I'll leave the project link in the description. You can see the installation guideline on the web page. So for the first step, if you want to use that, you need to use this command to transfer your TTI font files to become a picture dataset. So you can see this is a picture I generated. The left one is the target font you want to learn. The right side is the source font. So if you don't have the TTI font, you can use uh, Photoshop or some like picture editor tool to actually generate it by yourself. So after the packaging, we can use trim command to actually start to trim your model. So this is how I process the model. It's gonna take like a couple hours or like a day to finish the training. So left the example, the original font, you can see all the right color font actually missing. So it looks very different. And on the right side, it's actually AI generated all the font that needed. And it looks very consistent. It's very close to the VV's, uh, the original font style. On the other hand, we also try to assume like maybe this project can do some like colorful font learning. And uh, we actually tried it, it, it worked. So this is a colorful example we generated based on the colorful English font. So that's it. I also noticed some like Easter egg in the code. There's a, a lot of interesting stuff in the script's the comment section. <laughs> like this one, people are made to have fun, be drawn art sometimes. Or there's even have an argument called Euroboros, show you you have stepped into uncharted territory. <laughs> it made me laugh a lot. It's been a long time since the last time I read a code as funny as this. <laughs> so I'm very curious about how our baby AI model could go. So uh, we will share with you about the updates in uh, my future videos. Uh, but if there is no update or you couldn't get any progress, I guess we're gonna just stop here. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys could have your own AI model, what do you want it to learn? Uh, please comment below, tell me about it. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video or my channel, please consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys soon in my future videos. Bye! Bye.